Every time you open the Bible, please listen and learn now. The word of God has come. Every time you open scripture, there are three things that you are looking out for. Number one, you are looking for promises. Please say after me, promises. Every time you open scripture, what you are searching for are promises. Promises represent the boundary of God's commitment to the believer as far as your earth work is concerned. God is almighty, but the system of administering his love and his power is with respect to the provisions that scripture has allowed. God cannot bless a man outside of the allowance that scripture gives. Listen, this is very powerful because this is where if you do not understand this, eventually you will get into superstition. God can do many things, all things, but the operation of Jesus Christ as revealed from scripture is based on the truths of scripture. That means if you want to know how far God can go over your life, find what he has said here. God is only committed to what he has said, not what you want. God is not committed to what you want. He's only committed to what you want if what you want is consistent with what he has said. If your needs have no provision here in scripture, then it will not come to pass. Are we blessed now? Herein lies our confidence as matured believers. It is not longevity in church that makes for maturity. It's the awareness that God does not lie. He is a God of integrity. He is also a God of ability. Are we together? And that on the strength of the immutability of his counsel, if we can find what he said, then we can commit him. Please give us Genesis 21 from verse 1 and 2. Genesis 21 from verse 1 and 2. God only does what he said. And the Lord visited Sarah. Please read with me. One to read. And the Lord visited Sarah as he had said. And the Lord did unto Sarah. Not as Sarah wanted. The Lord did not do to Sarah as she wanted. He did to Sarah as she said. Verse 2. Same scripture. For Sarah conceived and bare Abraham a son in his old age. At the set time which God had spoken. Listen carefully. This is already a deliverance for someone. That means every time you write a prayer request, don't you think that because you prayed on it, it will be answered. The first requirement is that you must connect every request to the scripture that gives you a guarantee that God is. This is why scriptureless prayer is useless prayer. It's just a dissipation of energy, except if you are praying in tongues. When you are praying a wordless, a prayer that is not word based, there is no scriptural platform for God to be committed. Listen to me. God is touched with the feelings of our infirmity, but He is moved by His word. Just because He has compassion towards you does not mean things will be solved. He Himself has chosen to submit to His word, that He exalts His word above his name if someone learning this is sound doctrine this is how believers become matured all these superstitious things sometimes flying around is why a lot of people are puffed up with knowledge that does not produce predictable spiritual results there is nothing you can do against the truth but for the truth are we learning So the Bible contains promises. What has God said concerning me? God has spoken so many things concerning us. What has he said? It is your assignment to walk in partnership with the Holy Spirit to find it. They are life to those who find them. They are life to those who find them. And those who find, receive finding as a harvest for seeking. Because the Bible says the law is that everyone that seeketh, find it. Finding is not for men of God. Finding is not for those in ministry. Finding is for seekers. If you seek, you will find. I want to rise in life and destiny. Oh God, I know. I can't be a failure. What is your basis? Bring forth your strong reasons. 
What is your basis? I'm tired of suffering. No. No. That's not the basis for victory. What has the Bible said? 